The Discovery of Freedom, Man's Struggle Against Authority, by Rose Wilder Lane is a thought-provoking exploration of the timeless human quest for freedom and autonomy. Lane's work, published in 1943, delves into the historical, philosophical, and practical dimensions of this struggle against authority. With eloquent prose and a keen understanding of human nature, she presents a compelling argument that the desire for freedom is intrinsic to the human experience. Lane begins her analysis by tracing the origins of the human struggle against authority. She posits that this drive is not merely a modern phenomenon but has deep historical roots. Drawing on historical examples from different cultures and epochs, she illustrates how people have always sought to break free from the shackles of oppressive rulers and systems. Her inclusion of diverse examples, from ancient Greece to the American Revolution, underscores the universality of the human yearning for freedom. One of Lane's central arguments is that freedom is not something that can be granted by governments or authorities. Instead, it is an inherent right that individuals must claim for themselves. She emphasizes that freedom is not a gift but a discovery, a realization that people must arrive at through their own efforts and experiences. Lane's perspective aligns with classical liberal thought, emphasizing individual agency in self-determination. Lane also explores the tension between authority and liberty. She acknowledges that some level of authority is necessary for societal order, but she warns against the dangers of unchecked power. Her critique of authoritarianism is particularly relevant in the context of the mid-20th century, with the world recovering from the horrors of World War II and grappling with the rise of totalitarian regimes. Lane's message serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of ceding too much power to centralized authorities. Throughout her work, Lane challenges the notion that freedom is synonymous with a lack of rules or responsibilities. She argues that true freedom is not anarchy but rather a system where individuals voluntarily adhere to principles of justice, respect, and cooperation. In this sense, she aligns with the idea of a social contract, where individuals come together to form a society based on shared values and mutual consent. Lane's philosophical exploration is not detached from the practical realities of the human experience. She discusses the economic aspects of freedom, highlighting how economic liberty is an essential component of overall freedom. She lauds the innovation and prosperity that arise in societies where individuals have the freedom to pursue their economic interests without undue government interference. Her appreciation for the role of economic freedom in improving people's lives is a testament to her commitment to individual empowerment. Furthermore, Lane's work is imbued with a sense of optimism and faith in the human spirit. She believes that individuals have the capacity to overcome adversity and authoritarianism, ultimately discovering their own path to freedom. Her optimism is rooted in her observations of historical struggles and the resilience of the human spirit. She argues that throughout history, individuals have risen against oppression, even when the odds seemed insurmountable. In conclusion, the discovery of freedom, Man's Struggle Against Authority, by Rose Wilder Lane is a timeless exploration of the human quest for freedom. Lane's analysis encompasses historical, philosophical, and practical dimensions, demonstrating the enduring nature of this struggle. She emphasizes that freedom is not a gift from authorities but a discovery that individuals must make for themselves. Her work serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of safeguarding individual liberties and resisting the encroachments of authoritarianism. Ultimately, Lane's message of hope and human resilience resonates as an enduring call to cherish and protect the precious gift of freedom.